October 3rd, 2013. Yesterday, Ashton's first ever swimming lesson went awesome. Emma's volleyball was going fantastic, she says. So we had family day. Ashton was pretty cool watching them have fun in the pool. We have largemouth gear, but we also have a whole bunch of finesse gear. We're going to Trenton right now. We're gonna see if we can't jig up some early fall walleyes. And if that's a bust, we'll do some flipping for largemouth, but we gotta get on the road. It's a little late. It was crazy helping Emma get the kids ready and trying to get all the fish and stuff. So I hope I have everything. I feel like we're gonna get some fish today. I'm excited. And then when we're done fishing, we'll run back here, get sent free, and we're going deer hunting. <laughs> Made it to the Bay of Quinney. We're here in Trenton, Ontario. We were here in the spring and we vertically jigged some spring walleye and it, it was pretty good. I've never done this in the fall, but there certainly should be walleye moving in here to feed before winter hits. Boat's ready, beautiful out, absolutely. It's like nine degrees, it's nice. We're gonna run up the river, try to catch some walleye. If the walleye thing is not happening, we will run out to some of the weeds, the weed beds that I know of out here in the uh, Trenton area and we'll see if we can't get some largemouth, but hopefully we don't have to do that. Hopefully we just go out there and catch some walleye. It's go time, I'm excited. <laughs> Well, the walleye thing is a total bust. I spent about an hour up here. I haven't even marked anything that might possibly be a walleye. So we're gonna go out to the main bay, find some weed, start flipping, see if we can't get some uh, fall largemouth out here. Cannot get anything going out here on the lake in this deep weed, so last ditch effort, we're gonna run back up the river, Break out some smallmouth gear and see if we can hook some smallmouth. I just got my butt handed to me. Ben, I thought I had this great plan. We'll come to the Bay of Quinney, we'll catch walleye first thing, and then we'll go out and we'll catch some largemouth. I got one ranked dank little smallmouth that might have been four inches long. This is, this is not good. This is a total confidence kick right in the earth. I could, I, my options are to either fart around out here all day and try to get something going. But if we leave now, we'll be able to go deer hunting and we won't have to rush. So sometimes you just gotta lick your wound. The more you fish, the more bad days you're gonna come across. We're gonna go home, regroup, have a quick shower, get sent free, maybe eat some food. Then hopefully those deer are moving tonight. Home, the final frontier. Got the boat off the truck. I'm gonna go inside and make some bacon. Bacon always makes everything better. Tough morning, I don't even know how to, like, man, I really thought we were gonna, when I got up this morning, I really thought we were gonna hammer down on fish on the Quinny, but it's all part of the game. Is the more you fish, I fish, get to fish a lot, the, you're gonna run across bad days. It just is what it is. Not everybody catches them all the time. I assure you the best anglers in the world don't catch them all the time. I'm gonna go in and eat some bacon. A few hours before we need to hit the, the road to deer hunt. Hopefully we see some deer movement tonight. That would make this morning so much better if we just got some something on camera. Just heading into the woods now. It's Tuesday night, so probably aren't gonna have any dirt bikers spook off deer for us. It is a heck of a climb up here, so we're here. We're gonna put, uh, I'm gonna walk in, get in the tree. I think I got everything tonight. Hopefully we're gonna get some deer out cruising. It's really hot, it's 20 degrees Canadian. It's hot, it's too hot to even hang a deer, so unless an absolute monster comes in, it's just scout mission. All right, we made it in. We're making good time today. It is hot, hot, hot. I'm sweating like crazy just walking up here. We're gonna keep quiet, hunker down, and hopefully we just see some deer movement tonight. Just 
back to the truck. No deer action tonight, but you know what? That was a beautiful evening. I had a great time sitting up there collecting my thoughts. I think that's one of the big things about hunting. If, you, if when you're hunting, you just sit there and it's nice and quiet and it's totally different than the rest of the world of 2017. Everybody's in such a rush and hustle and bustle and Instagram and Facebook and hunting just kind of gives you a, a few moments of the day, whether you see animals or you don't, to just hang out, relax, take a deep breath, think about life. We're on our way home. Wasn't a wasted night at all. I had a good time. I picked up an SD card, so let's go check what's on that bad boy. Man, I know there's deer there too. That That's the only part of this that gets to me. I know there's deer. Made it home, walked in the door, and the fam jam had dinner ready for me. Some sweet Swiss chalet, so delicious. I grabbed an SD card on the way out. Check this out. Big old dole yesterday morning, and another one yesterday evening. While we were at swimming with Ashton, you can see my tree stand right up in here. So we got doe action, which is a really good sign. If we can keep those does hanging around when the rut happens, we will have bucks passing through, chasing after them. Really need to find out where they're coming in from. They're coming in beside the cam, which I'm not sure if they're coming in from like the side and then by the cam or if they're coming across the opening. Just need to see one cross and then we'll, we'll know exactly how they're coming in. Tough day on the water too. Man, we didn't catch anything. One dinky four inch smallmouth. It's just one of those days. The more time, it happens to everybody. The more time you spend on the water, the more bad days you're gonna come across. It's been a almost fantastic year, even though it's been tough fishing. We've always seemed to got fish. <sighs> just gotta keep at it. Keep the grind going. We're gonna see big deer. Just gotta be there at the right time and make it happen. So subscribe to the Fear Fishing YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. Lots more to come. I'm excited. Fall is here. Tomorrow, thunderstorm, so we're not gonna be doing anything but editing this vlog. Hopefully Thursday, we have a much better day. We'll see you soon.